Originally, this video was part of a Udemy marketing course, but I've decided to make it available to you for free right here on YouTube. Internet marketeers often leave out two important components when they're talking about the sales funnel. One of those we covered in lecture 1.5, and that was all about the credibility statement. The other one I'd like to talk to you about right now, that's networking and face-to-face -face marketing. This is lecture 4.5. Why do I care about face-to-face -face marketing? If you have a tourism-based business, perhaps you think that, well, you really don't do any face-to-face -face marketing. Everybody comes, is from out of town, and why would you be concerned about marketing to the local population? Well, I want to give you two examples. One is from a longtime client of mine who doesn't give any tickets out to his organization. He doesn't care. His attraction, uh, it's been around for a few years, and every year they seem to do a little bit better. But he is not going to support local organizations. For example, the Girl Scouts will send emails asking if they can have some tickets for a fundraiser. Perhaps a church wants to have a raffle donate some tickets. Well, no, not this particular organization. And so he does not understand why the local community doesn't support him when he's going to have some type of event. So, for example, the local newspaper won't give him any space, and the local radio station certainly is not going to do any public service announcements. This small business owner honestly and sincerely doesn't understand why that might be the case. Now, I'm quite fortunate. I have been taking care of their Facebook page, and I can get the occasional ticket for contest on there. On the other hand, I'd like to tell you about a lady named Louise Mandrell. Now, you may remember the Mandrell sisters from a television show quite some time back that aired in the U.S., and Louise Mandrell left that and went to a theater in Tennessee at the base of the Great Smoky Mountains. This is a large theater, and some days during season it has to be filled twice a day. Louise Mandrell is very good about supporting local organizations. For example, Relay for Life, the cancer group, or the local Humane Society. She will give out tickets to almost any worthy cause. As a matter of fact, they even have local appreciation days. So I personally have been approached by tourists, and I've been asked what my favorite show is. Well, I've been to that show, and I enjoyed myself. Obviously, that's one I'm going to recommend. How are the locals going to recommend your business if they've never been there? Local Appreciation Days really are not a bad idea. By the way, locals will also come back with their friends and their relatives when they come to town to visit. It's a very worthwhile thing, and for a lot of you, it really won't cost that much money. Here's another idea that you might use for face-to-face -face marketing. One of my favorite face-to-face -face marketing techniques involves trade shows. Now, you can find a trade show on almost any subject. Restaurants, hotels. The last trade show I went to was for tour bus companies. Now, how would you like to have a busload of tourists show up at your place twice a week from now on? You can do that at a trade show. By the way, of course, trade shows are also great places to find new vendors for whatever equipment you might need. I highly recommend trade shows, and they're easy enough to find right on the internet. Next, I'd like to talk to you about a private organization called BNI. BNI has chapters in most countries around the world, so you can get on the internet and find out if they're located near you. The story with BNI is, is they are a business networking group, and they will will have breakfast once a week, and at this breakfast, the members will trade leads with each other. Say, for example, I'm talking to someone on the phone as a small business owner, and that person happens to mention they're getting some brochures printed, or maybe they're just getting quotes for brochures. I'll write that information down, ask if it's okay if a friend of mine gives them a call later, and I'll bring that lead 
to the next BNI meeting. During this breakfast, everyone trades information back and forth, and a lot of leads seem to change hands at that point. And I know some BNI members just swear by the value of that organization to their small business. Another organization for many of you is the Chamber of Commerce. Now the Chamber of Commerce is a little bit different. They tend to have meetings about once a month and often these are local breakfasts. And what will happen is one of the members of the chamber will get up at the local breakfast and give a presentation. Oftentimes you'll be seated around tables of six or eight different people. Many of them are also managers or owners of area small businesses. The idea is you can tell folks what you do, trade business cards, and hopefully find customers through your local chamber of commerce. However, may I recommend the CVB, the Convention and Visitors Bureau. You see, a lot of CVBs have folks who actually full-time stuff envelopes. What happens is many tourists will call the Convention and Visitors Bureau, and that bureau will give this person a free brochure. All they have to do is leave a name and phone number, and there will be an envelope with a new brochure sent out right away. Now, this brochure, of course, is going to have the name and address of all the CVB members. It also will have display ads, and that's why I mentioned this to you. You see, if you'll remember back in one of our other lectures, if you double the size of a display ad, you don't get double the business, it's a multiplier. So if you can buy a display ad in one of these brochures, I assure you a medium-sized tourist destination is going to send out tens of thousands of these brochures. And what's so effective about this as advertising is that the people who receive the brochures are getting them at the exact moment when they're considering coming to visit this particular location. It's highly effective. I hope some of this is has been helpful to you. Coming up next time, I'm going to tell you about something perhaps you haven't considered. It's webcams, lecture 4.6. That's going to do it for this tourism marketing tip. I hope you learned something, and if you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also get a hold of me on the website with any other questions, and we have another video for you. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.